Hello gamers, SoftKitty99, the happy gamer here, with a World of Warcraft video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Lunar Festival. Now you start the quest for the Lunar Festival by searching for a Lunar Festival Herald, we have one here, in your capital city. They'll give you this quest, the Lunar Festival. It's that time of year, Emperor. The Sonarian Circle invites all denizens of Azeroth to partake in our celebration of the Lunar Festival. You'll find the Lunar Festival Harbinger in this very city at a location marked by a blessed circle of moonlight. She can tell you more about the holiday. Talk to the Lunar Festival Harbinger in the Valley of Wisdom in Orgrimmar. You can also talk to Lunar Festival Harbingers in other capital cities. This quest, of course, will lead you to wherever the location is in your capital city. Winds be at your back. In Orgrimmar, you need to go to the higher section up on the rise where the towers are and where the flight master is. Now, if you look in your achievements tab under World Events, Lunar Festival, then you can see all the achievements that you can acquire during this festival. The majority of them uh, require you to visit the elders in various different places, some in dungeons, many out on the world, and each place will show you the locations of all of the elders. You go speak to them and they will then give you a token that you can spend for goods at the festival vendors. You can get Lunar Festival finery out of boxes that you can spend those tokens on. You also get achievements for collecting certain numbers of coins of ancestry and for doing certain other things like defeating Omen who is the big raid boss and for letting off things like fireworks. Most of the achievements are pretty easy to do. So let's go and find the Harbinger and see what they want us to do. And here they are in Orkham, just behind the flight path. Oh, that's the pet trainer. There's the elder, and as I say, when you speak to them, you achieve a coin of ancestry and quite a nice chunk of experience. Now, there should be someone with a quest somewhere around here. Where are they? Where are they hiding? Ah, oh, yes, look, there's the other. There's the... The festival is split into two sections here in Argrimmar, look. And there's the Harbinger. Well met. Welcome, are you here to join in the festivities? Lunar Fireworks. Every year the Druids of Moonglade hold a celebration of our city's great triumph over an ancient evil. We celebrate the wisdom of our elders, share in magnific magnificent feasts and, of course, shoot fireworks. For a small donation you can purchase colourful rockets from our vendor. Try using some of the launches around here. Lo launch eight lunar fireworks and two cluster fireworks and return to a lunar festival harbinger at any capital city and you will receive the lunar festival invitation which will teleport the caster from within a greater moonlight. So we want eight lunar fireworks and two cluster fireworks. Be careful. Oh, hang on, there's another quest. Greetings. Oh no, I Good didn't. Bye. There we go, we didn't accept it. Right, the vendor is this little well, goblin guy here. So we want two clusters. One, two, and eight small. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can, of course, use any combination of the colours. Be careful out there. And these are the launches here, look. So what you want to do click on the fireworks and you'll set off your fireworks Be 
That item is still recharging. Yeah. And of course there's a cooldown so you can't do it too fast. And from the little red packets, if you get the lucky cluster rocket, they used to give you a buff. Yeah, there you go. The buff is Look of the Moon, which gives you plus 250 health. Which at low levels while you're questing could be quite helpful. Let's get our invitation. Well done. Now that you're in the spirit of things, why don't you take this invitation to the festival, festival in Moonglade? It's quite an enjoyable celebration if you have the time to spare. We share food, drinks, stories and of course more fireworks. Open the invitation while standing inside the circle of greater moonlight and you'll be transported to Moonglade. Baladar Star Song. Now that you have your Lunar Festival invitation, you may travel to Moonglade. There you will find many revellers, and in the village of Nighthaven, Valadar Starsong and his sister Fariel await those eager to participate in the celebration. Travel to Moonglade through the greater moonlight and speak with Valadar Starsong. See what prizes you might gain during the festival. Use your Lunar Festival invitation in the moonlight to travel to Moonglade. Speak with Valadar Starsong in Nighthaven when you arrive. Go in peace. So click on the invitation, and here we go, off to Moonglade. And here we have more revellers. If you look around you can see that you've got the revellers from both factions in little enclaves, all celebrating together. And if you stand in the moonlight of the correct city that you want to, you can transport usually tra back to whichever city you want to go to. But what we want to do is follow the road to find Valadar. So you just follow the road till you get to him. Here we are in Nighthaven. Now if you're on a PvP server, you will often find that during the festival there's a lot of PvP going on in this area, so as I say, if you're in a PvP um, server, you might need to be a little bit careful. Welcome to Nighthaven, host of the Lunar Festival. Although our village is normally remote and sequestered from the peoples of Azeroth, during this time of celebration we open our arms and hearts to all. Enjoy your visit, Anput, and speak with me or my sister again when ready. Go in peace. What brings you here? And if you look at his goods, this is where you can get the festive uh, dresses or pantsuits, depending on whether you're a girl or a boy. You can get a festival lantern, which is the companion pet or the battle pet, um, each faction has a different lantern, I believe. So yes, each faction has a different style of lantern. So it's a good idea to do this on people from both factions if you have both factions. And new for this year, we've got some new cosmetic items, some crowns. See, so the crowns are this year's new cosmetic. If, uh, of course, you can only use the cosmetics during the festival, but they are quite pretty for the girls. Good luck, Ren. And let's have a look what his sister has. Now, his sister has patterns. So, for tailors. And for engineers. Engineers can learn how to make different types of fest uh, fireworks and rockets and the tailors can learn to make dresses or suits. 
and if you go to the end you can find some everlasting fireworks which are toys which you can add to your toy box and also uh, which was added last year was the dragon costume it comes in three pieces and that's all classed as toys as well and of course if you have spare uh, tokens you can use them to buy heirloom upgrade items and if you're a higher level from one of these people here you can get the quest to kill Omen who is off in that direction uh, but I don't believe you can get the quest unless you're high enough level to actually be able to fight him and that is basically the festival so enjoy going around the world speaking to the elders and collecting your cosmetic items and your toys and i hope you have a wonderful time during the festival don't forget to like comment and subscribe and from soft kitty 99 i'll see you in the next video goodbye